I'm reading through this diary from 1917 that I got at an estate sale. And in one of her last entries, Anglesey, the diary writer, took a trip to a store called Bonwit Tellers to try on bridesmaids' hats for her sister's upcoming wedding. Sometimes Anglesey's handwriting can be difficult to read, especially with places and names, so it took me a while to figure out what this said. So anyways, as these things often do, my discovery of a new store led me down a rabbit hole. So let's learn a little bit more about Bonwit Teller. Bonwit Teller & Co. was an upscale department store in New York City, specializing in high-end women's fashion. It was founded in 1895 by a man named Paul Bonwit, and later on a man named Edmund Teller joined the party, creating Bonwit Teller & Co. The store relocated a few times and had multiple locations, but it seems like in 1917, when our diary writer visited, the store was at the corner of 5th Avenue and 36th Street in New York City. Here are some neat photos from the 1940s and 50s from various Bonwit Teller stores around the U.S. Something really cool that I found when I was looking this up was that Bonwit Teller was really at the forefront of the art scene, and they hired artists like Salvador Dali, Andy Warhol, and Jasper Johns to do window displays for them. The Salvador Dali windows were in 1939. So, Bonwit Teller was really successful. They spread out all over the U.S. The store was a competitor with Saks Fifth Avenue and is credited with kickstarting Calvin Klein's career. Unfortunately, the famous Fifth Avenue location was demolished in 1980 to build Trump Tower, and apparently some very valuable sculptures were demolished with it, which is pretty sad. It looks like when Trump bought the building, Bonwit Teller was still in business, but shortly after they became bankrupt and they closed. But even when I posted that original diary entry, people recognized the name, so their legacy definitely lived on.